Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Um, today it's going to be a little bit different. Number one, um, you're actually seeing my real desktop. And um, it looks like it shut off the um, arrow. That's fine. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is um, let me make sure that it's recording here. Yep. I'm going to show you guys how I clean and take care of uh, my computer. So, uh, I open up my tools folder here. These are some of the tools that I have, but I'm going to concentrate on some of the more specific ones. Number one that I use is CCleaner. Um, I use this um, to clean out temporary internet files, uh, temporary Windows files, um, all that type of stuff. So I just run the cleaner real quick, and uh, that gets rid of um, just uh, every, I do this about once a day, gets rid of all the junk. I don't use the registry cleaner. Um, it's not that great. I mean, it does an okay job, but it leaves a lot of stuff. In the tools, though, um, I do use the startup manager um, in case you want to um, disable temporarily a uh, function to see how it happens, to see how it works when you restart. Um, if you want to totally delete one, it's a lot easier than going through msconfig and all that stuff. This works really nice and it's fast and it works great. Uh, it's also got a system restore if you want to clean out your restore points. That's really easy too. Uh, okay, let me see here. Another tool that I use is I use Revo Uninstaller. Um, whenever I want to remove programs, um, this is the one that I use. Um, what I do is I set it up so I, um, you know, I can uninstall a program. I click it and then I go through the uninstall process and um, it gets rid of all the extra files um, that are left over. Uh, let's see what else here. For a defrag tool, um, I've tried many of them, and my favorite one to date is Oslogic's Distic, uh, Defrag. Um, it does a great job. It also has a Defrag and Optimize, which is good to be used uh, every now and then when it um, you want to completely take all the files on your computer and optimize them in a nice, uh, coherent order so they're not all over the all over your hard drive. Uh, it really helps access uh, time. Uh, let's see here. Another tool that I use is uh, Oslogic's uh, Duplicate File Finder. I have a lot of music files and that type of stuff, and I sometimes double up on the files. And it works really great. It's fast. It's easy to use. It's uh, real simple. You pick whatever files you want. You can search by different um, um, different attributes. Uh, let's see here. Let me pick. Let me show you on my desktop here. If you go to one, you can pick, you can ignore files, you can pick what you want them to be, how you want the matching criteria. I always do contents. Um, that works the best. Uh, let's see here. I use also Oslogic's Registry Cleaner. I uh, just used it today. And this one works real great. Um, it does an automatic backup, too, for your system. So... Um, you're safe in case something happens and it doesn't work right. You can just uh, open up your rescue center and just go back. Um, finds a lot of uh, registry keys, and you know I've heard people say, "Well, uh, you shouldn't clean your registry and all that stuff." And you know what? I have, and I've cleaned it for years, and maybe I've had a problem a couple of times. And the cleaners that I use all have uh, backups built in. I just open up into. Um, safe mode, restore it, and everything's fine. Or I even um, use uh, System Restore, uh, especially in Windows 7. It works much, much better. Um, let me see here. What else? And the last one that I use, uh, I guess you could call for the registry, is after I clean it out. Uh, I also use uh, using here, Registry Cleaner. It's free. And this, uh, these two tend to complement themselves real well. Um, and I, of course I do one, I clean it, I reboot, I use the other one, I clean it, I reboot, and last is what I do is I use a Quixis uh, Reg Defrag, and this takes all the, the files that got removed out of the registry and compacts the registry again. It doesn't delete anything, it just uh, makes the registry smaller so it loads faster on uh, reboot. And um, 
me see what else. Last but not least, I use um, File Hippo Update Checker here. Uh, this one isn't signed by um, File Hippo, so that's why you get the little uh, pop up there, but that's no big deal to me. Um, this basically tells you if you have anything that's coming up, any updates, any updates that you should get installed. Looks like I have two. Um, it really helps keep your software up to date. Uh, of course, I have some other files here that I use every now and then for scanning. Uh, I have uh, Driver Genius, which is a paid um, program, but it really works at keeping your drivers up to date. So those are the programs that I use um, to clean inside the computer um, that are fairly fully automatic. Some of the other things I do is if you go to Control Panel um, and you go to Administrative Tools, I every now and then I go through my um, my services, and it takes some time, and you kind of have to go through all of them one by one and figure out. And what I use it for is I use it to remove leftover services um, from uh, the computer and you remove the service not by starting and stopping because you can't do that so here you can start it and stop it but you can't remove it you have to do that through the command prompt and if you google um, remove delete service from windows 7 it's a quick little command i can't remember right off the top of my head because i don't do it that often uh, but it really works at removing leftover services that you don't need even if they're not started i just like to get rid of them uh, especially for old programs that i don't have anymore um, that's really that's my one of my uh, big things there and the last thing that i do every now and then is um, you know i like a lot of people out there probably install and uninstall uh, a bunch of programs all the time and a lot of these use um, different types of drivers to work so I have a little thing here to show you guys what you do is you open up your uh, your command prompt here and then if you type in that uh, if you type in set device manager underscore show non-present underscore device is equals one and then you start device manager now you want to keep that uh, that command window open when you do this and you open up your device manager here then you go to view uh, show hidden um, you want to have the show hidden devices checked and what you want to do here is you want to go through all your little devices here and you can see how many things I've had hooked up to my computer that were registered as disk drives uh, USB used garments whatever if you don't have some of these uh, just right click uninstall that gets rid of the driver and uh, potentially and I've seen this uh, happen before stops errors from happening you get those blue screens of death for some weird driver that you don't know what it is happening um, it really helps um, different things and the most important one in my opinion is uh, non plug and play devices you can have all sorts of old drivers and things here that aren't even I had in here Kaspersky from two years ago that I used that I just tried it out and I uninstalled it but guess what it didn't get uninstalled and you'll find them you gotta um, kind of Google some of these like if you don't know what some of these are what you can do right click go to properties and it'll give you some information and you can uh, if you go to details here and if you go to the service you can uh, Google that service name and uh, see what it is see if it's part of an old piece of software that you used or whatnot and uh, you can just uninstall it if it's an active um, driver and for some odd reason it's still running and it shouldn't be um, what you'll do is you'll uninstall it and then I'll ask you to reboot so you're gonna have to reboot when that's done but I had about 20 things last time I checked here um, and just go through all of them um, all your portable devices are all going to be listed here um, ports all sorts of different things um, 
all sorts of head, my USB heads and I mean everything's gonna be listed in here and you can just go through them all by one and get rid of the ones that you know aren't needed it takes some time to do this and to do it right but uh, I've seen that it really helps out the computer it just um, gets everything running smoothly again as little errors as possible um, one of the other programs that I use, I want to show you this, uh, it's called Blue Screen View. If you ever get a blue screen of death, just uh, go online, download this, um, put it on your desktop, double click it. I think I have one dump file from last time. Oh, looks like it's gone. But it will automatically find dump files for you here. You can click on them and get the information uh, you need. You can get it from this website right here. Uh, and it's a free program works great uh, you can select you can save your files um, you know as a text file or whatever if somebody needs help for debugging your computer works great right there um, that's it really that what I wanted to show you um, these are pretty much the files that I use uh, to keep the computer running nice and smooth um, you know that and a combination of uh, you know knowing some tricks here and there it really works um, using those programs when I, when you uninstall like let's say I wanted to uninstall Komodo uh, internet security and reinstall it I would use Revo and installer go to it uh, uninstall use the medium setting you'll see it what I mean when you use it uh, when it when Komodo asks you to restart hit cancel use the medium setting, have Revo scan the system when it's done, reboot. Then I would come in and use the registry cleaner here. Use EUSYNC, clean it up, reboot. Use OsLogix, clean it up, reboot. Then I would go and uh, check for leftover drivers. Did, was there anything in the services that got left over that I could remove? Um, is there anything... Uh, I've seen this happen sometimes. If you go to um, your network and in some programs and I've seen this happen a couple times um, under properties here this um, a firewall driver will get left over you can just select it and uninstall it and that will solve a lot of problems especially when you're trying to reinstall um, go through the uh, the, the um, go through this thing and uh, see your device manager see if there's any leftover drivers um, that'll help get rid of everything um, and then you can, you know, you can reboot and restart, and then you know you'll be good to go to in install your new software. Um, if I come up with any other new programs that I think are worth uh, going into, um, I'll tell you guys about them in the future. But these programs, I've been using them for a long, long time, and they've never let me down. They've, uh, like I said, even the oddball one or two times that I had a problem, it um, I could easily go back into safe mode and just uh, fix it real quick but I've never really had a major problem using any of these programs to clean out my computer so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little uh, tutorial um, and uh, that's it really I'll talk to everybody later and uh, tell me in the comments if you notice anything that uh, I've been talking about uh, that's been uh, a lot of talk on the, on the uh, uh, Komodo forums and um, something that's up and coming for Komodo. I'll see if you can if you noticed it uh, during the review and let me know. Alright guys, uh, almost out of time here so I'll talk to everybody later. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, you guys have a good night.